This is Anne with the KVC Church on Adolfo Street. We want to share words of encouragement and love during these times with the COVID virus pandemic. Um, I have prayers. Um, like I'm praying for everyone in Kenya from US. Um, we have the same struggles. Uh, I'm in isolation. My family in isolation. I've not seen my friends for a very long time, and I know for young people that might be the hardest part is the isolation from everybody else. Um, but I believe that we will win, and my words of encouragement are from Proverbs in the Bible, um, chapter 3, 5 to 8 where it tells us to trust in the Lord with all our heart and He will make our strength and if we lean on His wisdom and not ours um, fear the Lord and turn away from evil um, that's going to heal us like a whole person and I think that's really, really true uh, because if we all support each other and we move together, pray for each other, bless each other, um, that, is, that is going to push us and that is what's going to make us strong enough to overcome this problem. So, yeah, it might take time, but if we all work together and we do these pre preventive behaviors, you know, wash your hands, wear your mask, um, isolate yourself, um, it's going to help a lot of people and I know we're going to help So, that's My name is Anne Gitonga. I was told to talk about my quarantine at home. It, uh, it's been like a journey. So I have learned a lot at home with my siblings and my parents too. And also it has brought the closeness of friends who are away, who we're not uh, able to meet up with. And these, I think it's yeah, uh, it's to everyone because now if you're alone and you're at home, you need to talk to them. So you find you have more time for your friends now than before. So you get to talk to them, you know how they're doing, if they have food, if they're doing okay. Yeah, so that that's how I have been, and uh, and we've also been having church on Sundays. We have online service which has been good. Uh, so for us, church has been the one. So yeah, and it's been great getting to learn a lot from different speakers, which has been so encouraging, so empowering. Yeah, and we, we are still hopeful that things will go back to how it was or even better. Uh, we keep praying that God work out something yeah so we're still waiting for god's miracle and we know and believe that he will do something for us yeah so for um for you guys uh, i hope you've also had a good time with family uh, parents it's a good time for you to work with your kids with your husbands with your wives which is a good thing so for us we've been doing some exercises in the house so we have a compound that we can at least make some runs and and a big space where you can just do your exercise whatever you want to we've also been having family movies where we just watch together and it's been fun and 
started doing yeah so it, I as much as COVID has come with so many negative things we still have so many things to be thankful for and so many things to um to give God thanks yeah because it's uh it's it's not been that easy for everybody because uh, people are not working so things are very hard and yeah some people don't know what to go about it so but for us we thank God he has kept us he has provided yeah so we're really happy and uh, yeah it's a uh, time we also had time with our mom uh, where we have a girl talk which we didn't have before but now we do so we just talk about girls girls and their issues their like what you just talk to your mom yeah so it's been good also and um, a good time also to know ourselves to realize uh, what you want in life uh, who God is and yeah the things that what we've done that was not uh, according to what God would want us to do but with this quarantine we've been able to realize it and know that it wasn't right or I was supposed to do this but I didn't do this yeah so it's a good time also with God and we thank God in every day we believe that he's going to heal our land he's going to do miracles and yeah we are expecting God's miracle for sure yeah so I am so happy to share with you about uh, my quarantine and yeah that's been it. So I hope you can wish you uh, a good one. Hello, hello, my good people. How are you? Um, just a, a little word of encouragement to stay strong while while we're doing this, uh, but also to not just hope that it might get better, but to also find out what you can do in any case this stays on for any longer. Like an example being like not being able to go to physical school, um, will you be able to have like online classes? And even take more uh, modules in different in different areas, you know. So just uh, take this time a little bit to to reflect not only on who you are and what you're doing, but like what God has instilled in you and the reason that He wanted you to be at home today without being. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so just think about it. Have a great day. Hello, hello, good people. How are you all doing? I trust you are all well and doing great. My name is Peter Desire, and I would like to encourage someone out there during this hard time of COVID-19. I know there are too much fear out there, and so many people are scared. There are too much anxiety out there. But I would want to encourage everyone out there not to worry because God is for us. And as the word says, if God is for us, who can be against us? Actually, I would want to encourage someone with a, a few verses in the Bible. One coming from Psalms 125 verse 1 to 3, which says, Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. As the Mount Zion surrounds Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people now and forever. Also, there is another verse I would like to share with you coming from Psalms 23 verse 4, which says, Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will not fear evil, for you are with me. Your Lord and your staff, they comfort me. So my dear brothers and sisters, let's walk by the word of God no matter what is going going around in um, all over the world we know that god will see us through also uh i know as we are all scared and uh, frightened about what is going around i would really like to encourage young people mostly young people the young adults because as we look around they are the most affected ones you know 
the future they have too much future they have too much to plan about they are too you know keeping them indoors in quarantine is not doing them great and i know so many of them are are most bold and uh, their hope is like dying up but i would also want to encourage young people wherever you are stay safe and um abide by the rules and regulations keep distance wash your hands and wear your mask thank you and god bless you